each week. Catherine, radio to audio, dead air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here, real segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And of course, it is it is that uh, time of year. Well, while we have, we do have the horrible news and whatnot coming up, we have something that we have other important business. Girl, watch. The goat. We are we are checking in on the the Yavla goat in Sweden. For those of you just joining us, uh, the Yavla goat is a straw goat that is built in the town of Yavla, Sweden. It is gigantic. It stands. I think how tall is the damn thing? It has a Twitter. Yeah, it has a Twitter. Um. I want I want to get the exact height of this this goat. It's a very large goat. Um. Uh, where's the height? I, I where's the height of the goat? Uh, how, how can I not find it? It's very tall. It's big. It's a big, big goat. Why Why don't they have the the stats? I mean, it's got to be big. Thor's got to ride it. Let's see how how big is it. 13 meters, which is 42.6 feet high. They erect a 42 foot straw goat every year. And every year, a rather um, determined contingent tried to burn it to the ground. So we check in on the goat to see. Which, like, if you wanted to destroy it, wouldn't it be more metal to let a bunch of real goats loose? That would be kind of cool. To eat it? You know, that, w- that would be actually kind of awesome. So it would look like a goat, like, zombie movie? Well, here it is right now. This is a live video feed. The goat is still intact. But there's still... I don't want that, because if it makes it three years, Ragnarok comes. That's right, yeah. The, the, we have to uh, wait. It's going to be up for the entirety of December into the new year. We'll see if it survives. We'll keep on checking. On the goat. We'll keep you. We'll keep you informed here. This is an important service we're providing. Speaking of Ragnarok, this story was kind of everywhere, and it sadly kind of had our names on it. Um, weird stuff was afoot in California. By which I mean penis fish. Yes. Thousands of penis fish. Wash up on a California beach. Um, and finally, everybody in California knows what it's like to be a woman on the internet. <laughs> just dicks. <laughs> just dicks washing up everywhere you go. Yep. Dicks with opinions. Yep. A horde of large, fat worms descended upon California beach, spooked out of their burrows by a bomb cyclone. How did... How, yeah, I never heard of the bomb cyclone before a few years ago. Yeah. And now it's all the time. It's like the new trendy thing. Bomb cyclone. Wildlife enthusiast David Ford captured the foreboding scene, which looks as though a plane of frankfurters flung upon the hatch and let the dogs rain down upon the unassuming that is, shore. That is not what it looks like. That is not what it looks like. It looks like a dildo factory blew up is what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ford said, that, that picture right there, that's my Twitter comments every day. <laughs> oh, there, there's, there's, there's more. Oh my God. This just, uh, can I, can I make this bigger? I want to expand this. Ooh. Just look at that. <laughs> dick, 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 that dick, 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 dick. That's my mentions, yeah. especially today since I posted a Trump thing. Now, here's the people are like, well, they're not called penis fish. No, no. Colloquially known as penis fish among biologists and tilatots for its phallic shape, the innkeeper worm earned their proper name for temporarily <coughs> housing smaller creatures in their burrows with little conflict. Pea oh, crabs, they were little underwater bed and breakfasts. Pea crabs, clams, and tiny arrow goby fish share space with the worm and eat the food it discards, though there's little in it for the worm. So they don't actually get paid for it. They just have pushy house guests. Well, they get paid in food. This is this is just so weird. That just you, you walk you're you're walking on the beach one day, you're having your morning jog, you're running down the coastline, and all of a sudden, dicks. Ankle deep in dicks. You're like, it's it's like 
All right, there's an inf infinite universe where everything happens, right? Everything possible happens in every universe, right? You ever see the ep old episode of Star Trek? You probably haven't seen it. People at home have probably seen it. But I have seen that episode of Fringe. Yeah. Or rather, the entire run yeah. of Fringe. That old episode of Star Trek uh, called Parallels with Worf, and he was going off to a uh, 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 contest, and he was on his way back, and he split into ver various different alternate dimension versions of Worf. Okay. Because the theory is every choice you make creates a new branch of reality where it's, you make a different choice. What the, what this port what this looks like is like a portal opened above, and every single place where Lorena Bobbitt tossed that dick from every different angle, they all ended up there. This is where all the dicks ended up. Wow. I mean, you know he got it sewn back on, right? In this reality. True. This is the reality where they, this is all the realities where they never found the dicks. We don't have cybernetics. There's some reality where he is a cybernetic dick. That's true. A scare, terrifying robo dick. It's like a Alexa home thing. But it's his dick. But we're they not. Play music. <laughs> Redo recipes. <laughs> but we're we're not done with dicks for Christmas. Oh no. Oh thank goodness. Kansas woman's phallic Christmas light display didn't bring holiday cheer to her neighbors. Really? Up on the housetop, you might pause after seeing this not safe for work Christmas light display that is alarming residents in a Kansas neighborhood. A 60-foot string of lights festooned the sloping roof of Shelby Gash's home and its delivery range to look like a penis. Um, wow, it certainly is. 24-year-old resident uh, in Lenexa, Kansas, initially witnessed laughter after erecting the illuminated schmeckle. People think it's hilarious. People are stopping in the middle of the night taking photos and laughing. Um, uh, <laughs> while it came upon a midnight clear, Hmm. Some of the residents in Whispering Hills didn't find the holiday tallywhacker very funny. Um, she posted the X-rated images along with her apology. Uh, <laughs> you guys want to see? You guys want to see what she put on her roof? Here it is. Great big roof dick. There it is. Well, like, why? Um... To mess with Santa? Come on! Oh, would it, like, be gay if he landed his sleigh on a giant <laughs> dick? Because you can't touch a dick that's not yours. <laughs> so, like, does that count for the reindeer? I mean, like, masculinity's rules are really intricate, and I'm not up on all of them. It's this is one of those wonderful, wonderful things uh, about being a homeowner. <laughs> Technically, as long as you're there, there are some rules, but by and large, you can do whatever, just about whatever the fuck you want on your property. Yeah, we're moving somewhere with an HOA. How's oh, my God. No. Why'd you do that? Because, you know, it's the neighborhood we want, and it's a really lovely little house. Yeah, but a housing authority. Come on. So, like, we're hoping it's not too bad. And if it is, I fully expect that Dan will be doing stuff like this. Me, rules lawyer? I would never do that. Why? No. Oh, God. A neighborhood. No. Where, where, the area we're moving to, unless you want, like, an older house in an older neighborhood, pretty much everything has an HOA. So, and it's a brand new housing complex. Yeah, it's so. a brand new kind of development. So, you know, but uh, I can see this maybe happening in a year or two if it doesn't go great with the HOA with Dan. <laughs> Up on the rooftop. Stay quick, tuned. Quick, quick. Dan's <laughs> <laughs> gonna land on a dick, dick, dick. <laughs> I mean, jingle bells, you don't even have to change the words. We have more jingle hall. Bell rock hard. We have more holiday shenanigans. Um, 
two fellas ended up on the naughty list. Why would you even do this? What? Come on, man. What the? You fucking ruined the holidays. Two men accused of climbing, damaging 35-foot Christmas tree in Largo. And, of course, it's fucking Florida. Two men are facing criminal mischief charges. Come on. Uh, where is it? Gotta read the story. Gotta read the story. Uh, after, after police say they climbed a Christmas tree in Largo Central Park. Police say Alex Lakey and Shay Tracy climbed the city's 35-foot Christmas tree to, quote, willfully and maliciously damage it. Two other people saw Lakey and Tracy dangling from the tree and throwing ornaments to the ground. According to one rest report, one of the witnesses was a, was a city employee. Police say Lakey and Tracy caused $250 in damage. After being read their Miranda rights by officers, both admitted to climbing the tree. Why? What do you want to do today, Shay? I don't know, man. I think we should fuck up that Christmas tree. Really? Come on. Of all the... Of all the... Th of all the things... This is the real war on Christmas. Dumb fucking rednecks. It's, they, are, at, are they rednecks in Florida? Yeah. Okay. Am I Devo in the chat? Am I Devo in the chat says, uh, that's the behavior I expect from cats. Yeah. When cats yeah. knock over your ornaments, it's adorable because they're right. cats. When you they're cats. that's their job. When you do it, you're just a cock. Yeah, you're just and not the fun made out of lights on a roof kind. No. The kind that washes up on the beach and nobody wants. <laughs> You're a penis fish. Why in, why in God's name? What is it? And look, look at this dude's hair. I, I, I don't know if that's... It's not quite dreadlocks, but he's got something in it. Is that is that part of the tree in his hair in the, in the mug shot? Yeah, probably. <sighs> they both do look like they were just wrestled out of a tree. You, you, just, you're ruining Christmas for the kids. Let people have the Christmas trees. You don't have to screw up. What is wrong with you? Like, why? Naughty what list. Cool. Was there nothing, but literally nothing better to do? I mean, it's Florida. There's going to be a strip club or a theme park somewhere. <laughs> Sometimes they're one in the same. Yes. <laughs> ruin a Christmas for the kids. Don't. Bad. No. Bad man. Oh, oh God. More Florida. Is this this is Florida? Yeah, this this appears to be oh good God. Oh Dick's no. Florida. This is worse. No wait, no, this no, is Florida. Dick dick dick. No, this is Salt Lake County. So uh this is Missouri. Salt Lake's Missouri. Salt Lake's Utah. Utah. Sorry. Yeah, you're right. It's Utah. Why was I thinking Missouri? I don't know. That's very far away. It's very far away. Anyway, I don't know geography. Um, yeah, everything that's west of here up until about California is just a big amorphous blob for me. So. I'm moving to that blob. There you go. And I've explained to him several times that, like, he says he does. he's not from the south. And I'm like, yeah, you are. You're from the south. And he's like, no, I'm not. I'm like, here's the thing. When you're... When, I grew up on Long Island. When you're from up here, everything below Philadelphia is the South. Everything. And West, we don't even really conceive of West. <laughs> like, why? Everything West of, like, Albany is just that part on the map where there's, like, dragons and krakens. <laughs> Anyway, moving right along. <laughs> oh, let's hope you're not moving here or anywhere near or anywhere this franchise is. Draper Rancheritos reopens after employees shown on video peeing in kitchen. A Draper Rancheritos employee was fired Sunday after video evidence surfaced on social media that appears to show him 
urinating on the kitchen floor. Video was taken by a customer in the drive through lane about 5.30 a.m. Manager of Rancheritos told 2 News the employee depicted in the video was fired. He worked there for less than three months. So, all right. You pretty much just got this job. Yeah. And it's 5.30 in the morning, which is not exactly a super busy time for a Mexican a, restaurant. Right, at the Rancheria. What the fuck is a Rancherito? I'm assuming it's like a Del Taco or a, you know, a Taco Bell or something. Just a, a, home, a local brand or something. Oh, okay. I was thinking it was a food item, like... Um, but yeah, you just got this job. It's 5.30 in the morning, so you could skip off to the bathroom if you wanted yeah. to. But oh no, there's a hole in the floor with, with, with a great, I can pee in that. Not what it's for. Not, not, not what, what for. it's for. Not, not what no. it's. And just so you know, fellas, the one in your shower, also not what it's for. Nope. Don't do that. We have one hole. Where the, the PP is supposed to go, and that's not the one. Ditto semen, because it will clog up the pipes. The more you know. <laughs> Just, you know, helpful tips, life hacks. This is stuff they don't tell you in sex ads. No. <laughs> but you learn it as soon as you move into a college dorm, and they have to send the plumber to the guy's dorm a lot more often than the girl's dorm. <laughs> <laughs> oh god all right so yeah uh salt lake city shut down salt lake county shut down the restaurant pending an inspection uh two news cameras on sunday captured a total purge staff could be seen throwing away food and other items in the kitchen including utensils and scrubbing down everything he's you don't know what else he's done oh he's lucky he was just fired yeah well it's not just a matter of, of you don't know what else he's done it's a matter of here's the thing about urine we're we're learning tonight. We're learning about biohazards. Um, urine can splatter, and it can even do something called a micro splatter. Little drops of urine, so small you can't see it with the human eye, but you know what's in those little drops of urine? Fucking diseases potentially. Yep. Even though you can't see it, a little tiny drop of urine, smaller than you could possibly envision, has landed on a utensil, and oh no, someone's gonna get like dick disease or something i don't know i i don't know i don't i don't know what comes out of urine dick disease where you suddenly turn into a beachfront full of dicks <laughs> this is also, also like i feel like if he's willing to pee on the floor right in front of the drive through window he's done some other gross stuff in there so yeah urine is sterile right but down, salt the earth start yeah, over yeah urine isn't actually isn't actually completely sterile it it can include stuff in it that's nothing that comes out of your body is completely sterile yeah urine will likely if you ingest it it's not going to hurt you yeah but but it's know. not sterile that's also a weird thing about out of your body it's also a weird thing about your fecal uh bacteria the stuff that's in it's in your your gut tract um it's harmless to you because you're used to it yeah but that's why your bacteria if it gets to somebody else can make them deadly sick because it's not your it's not there or it can help them they do fecal transplant yeah, it's true it can help them too like if you don't have the proper gut bacteria they will put someone else's poo in you to introduce that bacteria but yeah if it, he does it with animals all the time it should you don't just don't don't do this this is you, 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 there's no fun with bodily fluids like no. this. This is not, not how that you, works. Not when you work in food service. Not when you work with the pub. Not at work. Not at work. Unless that's your job. Unless like your if job. you're, if you're Maddie O'Reilly and your job is literally to get peed on for porn, go crazy. But you you're know, good at your job. Do that. Get peed on. But unless that is in your job description, no. Ah. Uh. All right. Ne next up, oh, everyone's googling Maddie O'Reilly right now. Don't do that at work. <laughs> yeah, no. don't I don't Google. even know. I don't even know what you're talking about, Tara. And I don't want to know. She's a porn star, and she does the weird shit. 
I she see, and I which, which part of I don't want to know was in English, Tara? She and I exchange skincare tips on Twitter occasionally. Which we talk about skincare and makeup. Which part of I don't want to did I stutter? <laughs> anyway. She's nice. Next up, and then there's this asshole. Um oh, oh crap, now I got something in my eye. <laughs> All right, there we go. Never mind. Everybody at home's like, oh, don't touch your eyeball. I touched my eyeball. Live with it. We wear contact lenses, people. Yeah. Um, footage shows disgraced Fife Police Sergeant 40 trying to frame his wife. A disgraced police sergeant who tried to frame his wife by headbutting a door and claiming she punched him has lost his job in order to carry out community service. Uh, he hoped to land his estranged wife in trouble, but his plan backfired when a t teenager filmed his, quote, bizarre ham-acting antics on her mobile phone. Footage above the story uh, shows Murphy yelling, You just hit me! I can't believe you hit me! When there was no one close to him at the time. Here's, here's some stills from it. There you go. Um, look, look at that. Look, look, look at this jackass. Look at him. Look at him. That should be a meme. <laughs> Yeah, there's 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 one pit. Yeah, there, there, it's, oh no, you hit me! I can't believe you hit me. Um, so he did this in public where other people could see that nobody had hit him. And now here's here's the last picture. There he is. I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, his wife had called the police, and Murphy was apparently trying to trying to put his assault claim on the on the recorded call. Murphy is now being kicked out of the police and looking for a new job while going through divorce proceedings. Policeman for 14 years, based in Edinburgh, Murphy. Uh, appeared before sentencing, appeared for sentencing at, uh, Dunfermline, Dunfermline Sheriff Court yesterday. This is from the UK, by the way. Yeah, which means probably half those consonants are silent. Yeah. He was based on a community payback order with 275 hours of unpaid work. It was also made subject to a five-year non-harassment order to protect his wife. Defense solicitor Gordon Williams has told the court his client was very contrite. He knows he has fallen short of what was required. Does he? Does he? What cut that? That's a dick. All right. He knows he got caught. That's what he knows. And when a cop does this, I'm sitting yeah. here going, how many times didn't he get caught? Yeah. Because you don't just one day decide, hey, I have a great idea. I'm going to fake this. And, yeah. and you don't just do that one day. That's a thing you build up over time. You get used to doing that crap. Yeah, especially if you're that blatant and you expect to not get caught. And this, this is the kind of thing, I bet there are people who have been convicted of shit based on this guy who are, who are right now going, hey, yeah. maybe we can get an appeal based on this bullshit. You idiot. If you're gonna, if you're gonna fake the assault, like, maybe don't do it in a public place where everybody can see that nobody hit you. I'm also I'm also glad that, that he's no longer he don't longer gets to be a cop anymore. That's 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 the yeah. important part here. Yeah. That's what needs to always you. Yeah. Fuck you. That's what always needs to happen. You you don't need to be a cop anymore after doing something like this. America. Yeah, here they'd like promote him. Well that's just sad. Let's end this with something just Jesus Christ. Um, from the department like of Jesus Christ. Well, from the department of maybe you just need a really good shower. Driver blows up car with excessive use of air freshener. Look at that car. Wow. Holy shit. Driver. Told you, don't fuck with that axe. Well, this was an axe. This was an air freshener. They make air freshener, too. They do? You can stink up anything with Axe now. I think, I'm pretty sure they do. Driver caused an explosion in his car when he lit a cigarette after spraying air freshener. He used excessive amounts of the aerosol set before sparking up. Gas uh, from the spray ignited, blew out the windscreen and windows, and buckled the doors. 
but the man escaped with only minor injuries. How? The breeze. <laughs> like, basically, that means there was more air freshener than air. Yeah, that, that fuel air mixture. We've talked about that before. Yeah, like, I, I'm not good at chemistry, but that means you had too much chemicals in your air and it's not like chocolate and peanut butter you can't just mix those <clears throat> that's not safe the explosion was so powerful it caused damage to windows at nearby businesses gee and he got away with minor injuries minor injuries he's fine holy crap you lucky motherfucker oh no Oh no! Did we lose Tara? Stream's still working. Wait, are you there? There you are. We lost you for a second. Yes, hello. Welcome back. Yeah, I mean, good. And this is not a. This is not a good time to be doing that shit in the UK. Yeah. They're having people get real nervous when shit blows up. There's a history of things blowing up in the UK, and it's and we're like on the precipice of there being a future of things blowing up. Yeah, um, good. Just and I mean, you didn't, obviously, you didn't do it on purpose, but like, how bad? Did, engine, like, you know, they make a, there's something called a car wash, right? Yeah, where you can get that sucker detailed. They will make it smell good. What did you do in the car to make it? I mean. If you don't have somewhere to shower, you could just go through the car wash with your windows open. <laughs> Any time you use aerosol spray in an enclosed space. This is why every time it's a paint, you leave the doors open. It's not because because the fumes are deadly. It's that the fumes can back up and explode. That's that's how yeah, people are people like, how bad did that car stink? What did yeah. you do in that car, sir? Did you make somebody angry and they pish, they, they uh, put the, the fish oil down your air vents? That's a nasty trick to pull on somebody. Really? But you never done that? Get, get a can of tuna. No. Not, 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 even, not the tuna with the water. The tuna packed in oil. And just drain the oil into the air vents, the, the, the defrost vents on somebody's car. Oh, that smell don't come out. I, I probably shouldn't be telling people this on the internet. I had an ex who jizzed on somebody's car and it ate the paint off. Well, that's not the same thing, Tara. What? I did. <laughs> and I know if you put baloney all over a white car on a sunny day, it'll like, you'll have pink polka dots on the car forever. People are still like, dude, like, <laughs> takes notes. Pour the fish oil into someone's. Oh yeah, no. it'll. You don't will do that. You'll never get the smell out. It's horrible. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. I mean, if you if you get really froggy, you go do it to an entire uh, new car lot. <laughs> That's bad. That's probably a felony. <laughs> yes, it is. And I'm waiting for somebody to do it next week so we can talk about it on the show. <laughs> I'm making my own stories now, people. That's our Christmas gift. Somebody go get arrested. And don't <laughs> Please list us. Do not list us as accomplices. No, this guy on the internet told me to do it. Okay, buddy. Watch your head. Get in the car. Well, look, I'll link you to the show. And that's how we went to jail. Hey, I'd like to I'd like to see someone convict me. I want to go on the record that I do not endorse this idea. I do not you think think you should do this thing. And I'm not with him. The first thing well, the first thing we learned this week, of course, is that if you pour fish oil. Into the air vents, they'll never get the smell out. Ugh. Uh, it also works with air conditioning units. So, <laughs> terrible, I know. Uh, I'm going to hell, I know, I know. We've learned that uh, if cops mess up, they should not be cops anymore. It's a very yeah. simple lesson. Revolutionary. I know, blows your mind. Um... We've learned what the, there are proper holes to put the things that come out of your holes. Don't put the things that come out of your holes in the wrong holes. Yes. Yeah, I, I forgot which story that was about. And I was like, did we do a shoved up butt story this week? 
<laughs> no, no, that that's coming in a few weeks. And remember, we have to do the research for that ourselves this year. Yeah. Um, fucking thanks, Deadspin. Fucking thanks. Vulture fucking capital motherfuckers. Um, we've learned leave the Christmas trees alone. There's if if you were ever faced with a with an opportunity, you have nothing to do, and you decide to climb a, a Christmas a Christmas tree, you're not thinking very hard enough of things to do. Yeah. I mean, you could go pour fish oil in some cars. <laughs> uh, we need to start a naming these like uh, it's always sunny in fish in Philadelphia. This is like Terry Nash. Go to jail's accessories. Um, <laughs> that's the name of this episode. Um, we've learned your neighbors won't like it if you put a giant dick on your roof. Go figure. I mean, maybe if you're in Key West. Well, is that is that is that a decoration or is that an advertisement? Yes. <laughs> and finally, know your audience. And finally, we've learned it is the end times. Dicks are washing up on land. Ia fatagen. Ia ia. You know, women fatagen. always knew that was how the world would end. A wave of dicks. Yeah. Did I miss that chapter of Revelations? 